Welcome back. My guests say their love lives are all tangled up. Please welcome Nick to the show. He says he couldn't fight the temptation. Nick, what's going on? Uh, well, I'm here to tell my girlfriend that I've cheated on her with her sister. Oh. Why would you do that? I was just, oh, well, she's pregnant, and I've been Your really... Your sister is. I mean, uh, uh, girlfriend. No. Your girlfriend's pregnant. Yeah. So, you mean you get your girlfriend pregnant, and while she's pregnant and going through all of that, you're messing around with her sister? It just happened one time. I just, here lately, I've been working a lot, real yeah. stressed out, and her hormones are going crazy. I guess that's what happens, but it's just uh, been a rough time here lately. And so the hormones drove you to the sister? Yeah, I just, like, I would come home, and she, as soon as I come home from work, just complaining about every little thing, picking up dog poop, taking out the trash, waking me up at 3 o'clock in the morning to get her daughter a sippy cup, and knowing I have to get up at like two hours, and just been real, real hectic. But with her sister, how did that come about? Uh, well, one night, uh, me and Brooke had an argument. And Brooke she went being and, your girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. She went and stayed at her parents' house, and I had a football game on a Saturday, and... Well, anyways, her sister came, tagged along with a bunch of her friends. They're all drunk already, having a good time. Well, we ended up winning, and I wanted to go out and celebrate. I wanted to go to the bar. Well, the DJ announced the wet T-shirt contest. <laughs> yeah. I know the end of the story. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So she gets up there in a wet T-shirt. Yeah, and they're pouring water on her, and she's, she's looking, do. Yeah. looking pretty good. <laughs> pretty damn good. And... Uh, well, she ended up winning. She comes down off stage, all excited. A few drinks later, you know, she's hugging on me, kissing on me, asking me if I want to go back to her place. So me being an idiot said, all right, I jumped up on, on an opportunity, went back and had sex. And I'm here to tell Brooke. So you had two scores in one good day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or what position do you play? Uh, I play on the offense line. Left guard. Well, you didn't score. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. why you had a good score later on. Okay, so there you go. And uh, but you still love your girlfriend. Yes, very much. And so you're here basically to come clean, apologize, and hope she takes you back. Yeah, try to start over. Okay, you have no feelings for her sister. No. What? No what if she's ever. out in a t-shirt and it starts raining? <laughs> you gonna... No. You no sure you can control again. it? Yeah. yeah. Well, just in case, always check the weather forecast before you go out. And... <laughs> All right. So, Brooke is your girlfriend. She hasn't been watching. She's outside the studio. Let's bring her in now, and you'll tell her. Here is your girlfriend, Brooke. Welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? Hi. Uh, how many months are you? He mentioned that um, you were... six. You're six months. Oh, yes. wonderful. This your fir first child? Uh, she's already had a kid. Uh, this is my girl. first. I see. Okay. All right. So, uh, oh, so you don't know why you're here? No. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you tell her? Um, well, you know how excited I am to be a dad and start a family. And, mm -hmm. and just here lately, I've been working a lot, a lot of stress, and your hormones have been driving me crazy. And... Just, uh, I'm tired of coming home, complaining all the time, screaming, and I uh, just want to tell you that I had sex with your sister. Oh, oh my God. I, I just, you've just been putting a lot on me and make, waking me up at 2 o'clock in the morning. I gave you no reason to cheat on me. Um, I've gave up a lot. I've gave up my cell phone. My MySpace, hanging out with my friends. What do you mean you gave up your cell phone? I, I, not that that's big. I just don't understand. How, how does that... He doesn't like me to have a cell phone. That sounds pretty controlling. I, I got a bit of a trust issue. Oh. <laughs> Bad. Well, Bad. Listen, listening to your story, I think it's time for you to give up your cell phone. <laughs> Have, have there been fidelity problems? What do you mean? I mean, you cheating on him? No. No. So, I've never cheated on him. So what's the trust problem? She's been faithful. I never gave you a reason to cheat on me. 
uh, uh, just I guess previous relationships, I just have had a bunch of problems. So and, you punish me for it? Are you surprised? Obviously, you're surprised. But is this consistent with your sister's personality? I mean, do you think? Are you shocked that your sister would do something like I'm this? I'm Yes, I'm very shocked. Because even though sometimes you fight, not something yeah. like this. Well, let's meet her. Uh, here, uh, let's bring her out. Here is Kayla. <laughs> to me well I'm always the ugly duckling I mean I'm look at him I mean up in that bar his eyes on me okay that gives you a reason to do this to me you know I love him well look at him I mean he's attractive he's sexy so <laughs> What's the family gonna think, Kayla? <laughs> I've got contacts, Jerry. Okay, <laughs> What's the family gonna think? Who cares what the family thinks? It's always been about the family. For once, it's gonna be about me. So, oh, so you're saying this wasn't just a mistake. You really wanna be with yeah, her? Yeah, I do. What do you wanna say to her? I have no feelings for you. Okay. Whatsoever. There goes sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well. I would never do this to you. I've done everything for you. I've given you, you a always... place to live. You and your you and your child. And you, you gave this me to a me? place to live. Yes, in my apartment. No, I'm on my own now. Yeah, okay? now. I've been out of a relationship for two months now. I'm gonna do what I want to do. So you punish your sister. The, I'm not... the, the have sex with your sister's boyfriend. The, the you know the the guy that she's in love with. You know I love him. I'm about to have his kid. Well, I've got a kid, too. That's no excuse. I mean, we had fun. Okay. So, I, I understand, you know, you want to live your life, but you got to admit, your own sister who's pregnant with a man she, by a man she loves, isn't that kind of well, crossing Jerry, the line? Well, she's always been center of attention. I mean, so I was 17 years old before I could even get in a vehicle with a guy growing up. And she had a guy living with her at 15. I no, mean, yeah, but I'm saying, aren't there other guys? The, the football team has 11 guys. <laughs> well, I don't want the football team. That still doesn't give you a reason to punish me. I've never done nothing like that to you, ever. Plus, he's an offensive lineman. <laughs> now, who's Tiffany? My cousin. Your cousin. <laughs> Tiffany. You're nothing but a whore. Oh, no. I'm a whore? Yeah, you are. It's none of your business. You it need to stay out business. of it. No, it's no, not it your is, business. It is my business. <laughs> With her stuck up her all the time, not me. Well, that's got to be a good thing. <laughs> no. All right. So you're saying you don't want to be with her? No. Okay. So I mean, now... Nick, I mean, how could you not want these? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, what did you say? And it's not even raining. <laughs> All right. I'm done with him. You're, do you're done yes. with him. Yes. Well, I, I wanted to get on here to confess to you. I had something to get off my chest, and I wanted to come clean and start <laughs> over. Well, we got a you family don't deserve on me. That's what you think is going to make you happy, then. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously what makes you happy is going on cheating on me with my damn sister. I'm done. Everybody.
Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.